Good evening. I'm delighted to have been volunteered to perform Holy Willie's prayer in the traditional garb. My Amazon order didn't stretch to a full gentleman's nightdress, so I'm uh, improvising with, with a traditional modern dressing gown. Uh, this is my favourite Burns poem, and it's based on a real life person, Willie Fisher, who was an elder in the Kirk at Ayr and was one of those responsible for chastising Robert Burns uh, for his transgressions. Uh, but as Burns points out in the poem, he, Willie Fisher, was a hypocrite uh, because he was as lustful for women and drink, if not more so than Burns. And the poem also pokes fun at the very a idea of Calvinist predestination, uh, the idea that uh, it's determined before you're even born whether you're going to go to heaven uh, or to hell. O thou that in the heavens do dwell, as it pleases best thy cell, sends one to heaven and ten to hell, for all thy glory, and no for any good or ill they've done before thee, I bless and praise thy matchless might when thousands thou hast left in nicht that I am here afore thy sicht for gifts and grace, a burning and a shining light to all this place. What was I, or my generation, that I should get such exaltation? I was deserved most just damnation for broken laws. Six thousand years ere my creation through Adam's cause. When from my mother's whim I fell, thou might have plunged me deep in hell to gnash my gums and weep and wail and burn in lakes where damn devils roar and yell chained to their stakes. Yet, here I am, a chosen sample to show thy grace is great and ample. I'm here a pillar of thy temple, strong as a rock. A guide, a buckler, an example to all thy flock. O Lord, thou kens what zeal I bear, when drinkers drink and swearers swear, and singing there and dancing there, we great and small, for I am keep it by thy fear, free free them all. But yet, O Lord, Confess I must. Sometimes I'm fashed with fleshly lust, and sometimes too in worldly trust vile self gets in, but thou remembers we are dust, defiled we sin. O oh Lord, you strain thou kens we meg, thy pardon I sincerely beg. I may never be a living plague to my dishonour and I'll never lift a lawless leg again upon her. Besides, I further mon avow we lease his lass three times a true. But Lord, that Friday I was foo when I came near her. Or else thou kens thy servant true would never steer her. Maybe thou lets this fleshy thorn buffet thy servant e'en and morn, lest he or proud and high should turn, that say, say gifted, if say, thy horn moan be born, till until thou lift it. Lord bless thy chosen in this place, for here thou has a chosen race, but God confound their stubborn face and blast their name. What brings thy elders to disgrace and open shame? Lord mind, Gone Hamilton's deserts, he drinks and swears and plays at Celts. 
yet has say money taken else we great and small for God's own priest the people's hearts he steals a wall oh. and when we chastened him therefore thou kens a he bred sick a spore and set the world in all a roar all laughing at us curse thou his basket and his store kale and potatoes Lord, hear my earnest cry and prayer against that presbytery of ear. Thy strong right hand, Lord, make it bare upon their heads. Lord, visit them and did spare for their misdeeds. O oh, Lord, my God, that glib tongued aching, my very heart and flesh are quaking. To think how we stood all sweating, shaking and pished with dread. While here we hanging up and snaking held up his heed. Lord, in thy day of vengeance, try him. Lord, visit them what did employ them. And pass not in thy mercy by them, nor hear their prayer. But for thy people's sake, destroy them and dinny spare. But Lord, remember me and mine we mercies temporal and divine that I for grace and gear may shine excelled by name and all the glory shall be thine. Amen. Amen.